Hello, welcome to another maintenance blog. This week it's about the Victron BMV 712 battery monitor. This BMV 712 battery monitor is an industry standard battery monitor that works well with most brands of batteries. It displays battery information by a 3 inch display, but it also sends information via Bluetooth to any Android or Apple device. This 3 inch display is connected via an RJ12 standard telephone cable to a shunt which is connected to the negative side of the battery bank. And all of these components come in a handy pack ready to install. If you want to see how I physically installed it, then check out this video blog here. The whole system is relatively easy to install and program using the Victron Connect app, which is downloaded from any app store. And it takes you through the settings individually in a very user-friendly way. The Victron Connect app enables you to monitor all of the uh, smart devices by Victron using Bluetooth. The only problem is when you're in a crowded anchorage or marina, you pick up everybody else's devices too. Any good battery manufacturer should have the BMV settings on their website. The Battleborn batteries I've installed work hand in hand with all the Victron devices. If you want more details on what these settings do, then check them out on the Victron website. If you've already downloaded the Victron Connect app, you may get an alert for a firmware update. Just uh, type in the code 000000 uh, to open the settings and confirm that firmware update. And these are the settings that Battleborn recommend for the BMV 712. So these settings are, battery capacity is 400 amp hours on our boat. Charge voltage is 28.8 volts, but I reduced it by 0.2 volts to slightly below the Victron MultiPlus inverter charger as recommended. Discharge flow is 0%. Tail current is between 2 and 4%, so I just set my at 3. Pure cut exponent, I'm not even going to pretend I know what that is, uh, but it's set at 1.05. Charge efficiency factor, 99%. Current threshold, 0.10 amps. Time to go averaging period, 3 minutes. Battery start synchronized, uh, that's on, so over to the right. Just be careful with this one because if the batteries are disconnected or you disconnect the batteries for even a second, it will default to think and the current state of charge will be 100% and it will display that on the BMV display unit. This will automatically be reset when you charge the batteries to 100%. The way to do that is to charge the batteries up to 28.8 volts for an extended period of a few hours. At some stage we were pumping 70 amp hours into the batteries. I was starting to think there was something wrong with the system. Um, but then I was online and I asked if lots of people with lots of experience and they just say, yep, it takes a long time. You've got 400 amp hours at 24 in the battery bank and that's going to take many hours to fill up. If you do need to disconnect the batteries for any reasons, it's probably best to make a note of the state of charge before you do that. And then you can manually put that back into the BMV 712 after you've done the work on the battery system. The synchronized setting, just leave this to sort itself out when the batteries are at a full state of charge. Zero current calibration, again, just leave this. So I love the fact that I can actually check the state of charge of the batteries before even getting up on the morning by looking at my phone and knowing if I'm actually gonna be able to make a cup of tea. So thanks for watching and thanks in particular to our patrons who make all of these videos possible. These videos are created on a very tight budget, so if they were in any way helpful to you and you feel like contributing towards the creation of these videos, then you can follow the links to PayPal or Patreon in the description below. Or check out the crew shirts on our merch store. 